In this video I'm going to show you how to wire a Honeywell 7 day solar programmable wall switch as the timer for an automatic chicken coop door. I think this is the best solution um, because it's uh, extremely reliable. The timer adjusts throughout the year automatically for the available daylight and uh, there's a uh, relay that f integrates really well with the uh, timer and those are the only two pieces you need to make the whole thing work. Uh, you do need AC power in your coop. That's the, uh, the one caveat, the uh, solar timer only works on AC power. So what you'll need is a, a power cord where you snip the end off. You'll need a uh, weatherproof, I used a weatherproof junction box. A two gang junction box would give you more room for all the wiring. Um, if you use a one gang junction box like I did, it's pretty tight and it, it will depend, uh, whether it works will depend on, on the, uh, the depth of the box. You can see here I got a, a Hubble box. If I go down, maybe you can see the difference in, in height here. Uh, this one, uh, the timer went straight all the way to the back, and so there wasn't enough room for any wiring connections. So you could barely fit wiring nuts on uh, either side. And uh, in the box here, you have to make, oh, I don't know, about six or seven different uh, connections. So this uh, the single gang box isn't big enough. If you got the double gang version of this, that would work great. Or the uh, the deeper single gang. Um, but here's what it looks like. If you open it up, there's the timer, and uh, and then the nice thing about this relay is it screws into the uh, the hole on top, and so it's all self-contained. And I don't know if it's really waterproof, but it's definitely uh, dustproof, and it you know makes a nice compact uh, setup that you can just uh, screw into your uh, your coop. Here's how the whole system works. Uh, I have a 12 volt power supply and that's powering the 12 volt side of uh, the whole system and then I have the uh, you know AC power cord plugged in to provide power to the timer. Um, so I'm going, rather than programming the timer, I'm just going to use the override switch. So right now it's in the, uh, the off state. I'm going to push the switch which is going to turn it to on. That triggers the relay and then the relay makes the linear actuator start to extend. And then when it's time for the coop door to close, the timer switches off, so I'm going to again use the override switch. The timer goes off, the relay goes off, and the linear actuator starts to close. The linear actuator has um, limit switches at both ends, so you don't need to worry about shutting it off. It just does it automatically. Here's what the wiring looks like with everything pulled out of the junction box. Um, it looks like kind of a mess, but I'll go slowly and there'll be a cleaner wiring diagram. Uh, that's a lot easier to understand on the blog. I'll start with the uh, the power cord, the AC power cord. You want one of these um, uh, junction box uh, clamps, and you know they screw into uh, any of the holes on the junction box. I don't, you don't need this uh, this nut, so that just comes off, and then you just screw that right into the the hole there and uh, run the the wires through the clamp. Um, I'll start with the yeah the power the AC power cord. So the AC power, um, I used a three wire power cord. So there's hot, which is black, neutral, which is white, and green is ground. The uh, timer doesn't use ground. So if you have a metal junction box like I do, you'll want to run green and, and uh, screw it to that green uh, screw that's uh, down in the back. Um, otherwise, if you have a plastic junction box, just put a, uh, a wire nut on the end of ground and you won't use it. Uh, otherwise, the black wire from your power cord is hot. That gets wired to the uh, black wire to the timer, and that's it. So just those two together here. Um, neutral from your power cord gets wired to the white wire, which is neutral uh, to the timer. And then you also want to wire it to the white and yellow wire from the relay. And so there's three wires that are all uh, together in, in that wire nut. And uh, also make sure you use a wire nut that can handle three wires. Um, there's the other third wire that comes out of the timer is blue. That's the switched output. That's hot when the timer is on. Uh, and that gets wired to the black and white wire that's coming out of the relay. That goes to the coil. Uh, the other connections you'll make are um, you uh, want purple and yellow from your relay. And those get wired to the um, linear actuator. Uh, motor and you know mine happen to be blue and, and brown, but uh, those come in, in uh, different colors It doesn't matter which one goes to which side except uh, if you when you turn it on if the linear actuator Acts opposite from how you want it to act like when you when you if you put power on and it instantly starts extending uh, You just want to flip-flop 
uh, the connections on the uh, the wire on these two wires to your linear actuator and if you uh, flip them then the uh, whole system will work right uh, the other connections are uh, again they look like a mess but it's pretty easy from the relay you want to take gray and orange and I have them wired to positive 12 volt uh, power and then you want to take uh, blue and brown from the relay and wire them to your ground from this is again your 12 volt don't get this confused with the black wire from your uh, AC power this is 12 volt so those are my 12 volt wire that just go down and that goes out to my uh, 12 volt power supply right here uh, the uh, last wire is from the relay is uh, white and blue and that you don't use. That's if you want to use 24 volts AC to uh, do the coil and I'm not using that so you just cap that off. Um, and that's it. You just got to jam everything in. If you do want to use a single gang box I would just uh, take all these and, and make them a lot shorter uh, where they come from the relay. The relay just screws right into the top here. Um, I'm not going to take it off because it's uh, you, you kind of have to twist all the wires around in, in this hole here to to screw the relay in and, and uh, off. But it just has you know threads just like this, and it just screws around and makes a nice solid connection. And um, it's uh, it's a great way to put it all together because it's all enclosed when you're all done. That's everything. Again, uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments on the blog, which is blog.netscraps.com, and search for the Honeywell Solar programmable wall switch uh, post about the automatic chicken coop door. Thanks and hope this helps someone.